What is going on guys, Triple C Gaming and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3 getting some online ranked matches in with Tony Ferguson and yes we are playing ranked as you can see uh, first fight here facing Dustin Poirier and I get rocked right away with the classic jab uppercut hook <laughs> I get dropped trying to throw so I haven't played this game in like over a week I know I had that ally Quinta video up but I had already recorded that video and, and uh, you know I already had played that video I mean days a while back and I just finally uploaded it now and I was rusty man and I could feel the rust been playing too much Tokyo Zanadu and too much Sekiro Shadows Die twice. And usually when I don't play for a while, I'll jump into practice mode and work on my head movement against the AI. Then I'll jump into some non-ranked matches. I didn't do any of that. I just turned the game on after not playing over a week and just jumped straight into ranked here. Won't make that mistake again. <laughs> but, yeah, we got Dustin Poirier is a beast. You know, I did my video on him a while back, as y'all saw. And I see the light now. I'm a Poirier fan. And he hits me again with the jab uppercut hook. And we're rocked again. Body kick, look at that. body kick to push him back. I meant to throw an uppercut there. It was a body kick. Thank goodness I didn't get rocked there. We rock him there, though. There it is. A jab hook uppercut. That's what I was trying to throw in the first place. This man is throwing, though. He is letting the hands go. And, hey, he's gotten two rocks off us, so. And, man, I saw my life flash before my eyes when I missed that kick. Back in the way, let my head health recover. And of course, I would duck into an uppercut. Of course, I would. <laughs> Goes for another body kick. Whips on that one. And even though I've been, I've been, what, did I get dropped twice? I know I got dropped once, so I've been rocked a couple times already. I, I know I can get this fight, though. I really do, because I'm like, my stamina's good. I know he's throwing a lot of strikes right now. And if my head health, and Tony is tough in this game, at least. Does a little taunt to us. Remember, don't let the taunts get to you guys. Don't, don't, don't take the bait. Even though we're not looking too hot right now, we're not going to, we're not going to take that bait. But I know I can get this guy, man, especially later in the fight, because... Ferguson has the cardio perks, and he is just throwing like a madman. He's going to waste his stamina. And I'm just backing away, covering up. Man, that created a hit stun on me when I went to try to counter him there. I hate when that happens sometimes. Sometimes because I'll purposely eat the body kick to land the punch because it does extra damage for vulnerability to them. But sometimes you get hit stun off it. And he's got me throwing a lot of strikes, too, in this match. You know, it's not how I would normally want to play, but he's kind of bringing the fight to me, forcing me to fight a little bit like this. There we go. We slip around him there. And since I'm in Division 5 now, I can't see where his stamina is at, but I know it can't be that good. He's thrown too many strikes. Making them miss, and that's another thing. Make them miss. So, see the stats here, 99 to 124, and I still landed more than him. I, that would be my round if I didn't get rocked three times and dropped once. <laughs> but with the, I, dry, I managed to rock him one time, but yeah, he got three rocks on me and he dropped me, so no doubt it's his round. But man, 124 strikes is a ton of strikes, and we still landed him while throwing 99. So that's not a good sign for him. Hit him with a 1-2. She opens up with that leg kick. There we go. Get around him there. I go for my own front kick. He's been doing that to me, and he does a nice job slipping and countering me. That was a real good job by him. Yeah, I knew he was looking for something there. That's why I was just holding block watching. Thought it was going to be the front kick. Resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Effective punch there by Dustin. There we go. He goes to the body a little bit too much there. Pays the price for it. Gets dropped. And just like that, we're right back in this fight. Does another taunt to us, but we don't care. He faints the front kick. And I went to faint my overhand. I was going to faint that to draw him out, and he threw the damn strike. So <laughs> I got caught there and rocked. It happens. I was annoyed. Oh, nice 
He slips that, but we still caught him with the next strike. And look at him, he looks gassed already. And our head health, it's not the hottest, but it's not the worst either. I mean, I can manage with that. And now, oh my goodness, there I am whiffing again. I thought I was close enough to land that. Yeah, he's definitely gassed out. And he manages to still hit me with another front kick. What is my problem? I'm not making a read on that front kick, but we rock him with a counter uppercut there. Yeah, he's gassed out really bad here, so that's terrible for him with this still another whole round to go. So now I'm thinking, like, let's kick that body a little bit. There's another one right there for him. Front kick drops him. I'm just taking my time because I know he can throw something crazy at me. And there we go. We rock him again. A couple body strikes there. Oh, straight right. He's down. I'm going to let him right back up. Oh, front kick lands. And that is going to put him out. Yeah, this man was fought like a house on fire, man. Right from the bell. You know, he got that early rock and drop on me with the jab uppercut hook. He got me with some nice front kicks, too. Just made some stupid mistakes. That rust is real, y'all. But he just threw, he threw way too many strikes, just way too much. Should have just chilled a little bit and conserved some of that stamina. It's great to fight like that if you get the knockout quick, but if you don't, that's what can happen. It looked like he was blocking high. He must have let go at the last second thinking I was going to throw a body kick or a teeth kick or whatever to the body. See the stats there, round two. Even in round two, he threw 97, we threw 69. We still landed the same number, even though I threw way less, and I landed more six strikes while throwing less six strikes. Three wobbles, four knockdowns. On to the next one. All right, here we're facing Edson Barboza. And you got to be careful with Barboza. Obviously, we already know that the kicks. There we go, get a nice rock there already, early in this fight. Man, I threw that body kick. I think I meant to throw an upper kick. I gotta let go of that L2 button. Man, we ducked under that head kick, but I didn't. I should have thrown a counter strike there, but that's okay. Yeah, see this guy's throwing pretty, not really set combos. Hook, hook, uppercut, and another hook. I have problems when I face guys like that because I'm, I'm trying to look for like, okay, are they throwing like jab, uppercut, hook, jab, hook, hook, you know? And when I kind of just throw a little strike here and there and whatever, it's hard to get a read on it. Man, I thought he was back here. I thought he was going to back away there. He didn't. I got hit. I was about to throw the straight right rear body kick. Now, he likes slipping over and throwing that uppercut. I have noticed that. There we go. We get another rock. I think that is one of Barbosa's weaknesses is his chin is not the best. I think it's 89. I, I'm not, I think Ferguson has a good... Oh, man. We catch him with a beautiful front kick, and he hits me with that uppercut. And we drop him there. We're going to go ahead and get on top. I'm really surprised this guy's not throwing a lot of kicks. You really haven't seen a lot of kicks from him. He's mostly using his hands with Barboza. And sometimes you face guys where you have to kind of, you can't, you know. I try to take him down there. My stamina is a lot. Like, you don't want to waste, you can lose a lot of stamina trying to uh, get that cage taken if they deny you a couple, a couple of times, your short term and long term. So I was like, eh, it's not worth it. I'll go ahead and just uh, get out of here. Yeah, the thing with the cage takedowns, it's actually not that hard to stop. Just takes a lot of practice. Just takes practice, and I still get you still still get taken down sometimes from me. You know, I'm not an expert, but I've gotten a lot better at it. I went into practice mode and really concentrate on the animations of what they look like, especially if it's a fake takedown, how it looks, how quick it goes, and everything like that. 
And there I am whiffing on another kick and getting paying the price with an overhand. That overhand didn't even really do any damage, surprisingly. I don't know how. That should have definitely been a rock if not a knockdown. Ten seconds to go in the round. But this was a dominating round for us. Pull back on that. Last hook he throws. And first round's definitely going to go to us. Yeah, we threw 99 strikes, but we landed 44, 19 six strikes. He threw 66 strikes, so I threw 36. We had five stuns and wobbles and one knockdown. So I, it's only the first round's over, and his head health is gone right now. And yeah, this match was a little laggy, unfortunately. There was some lag and a little latency. And yeah, I really thought he was going to be a Barbo Wall got rocked there. Okay, though. Oh, I went for a takedown way too far away. Didn't give me the ankle pick, unfortunately. Because that would have probably been a takedown because he had just done that spin kick. And whiffed on it. But yeah, I was kind of so he is open up with the kicks a little bit more, but I was surprised he wasn't really kicking a lot more, especially leg kicks. He might have been worried about the takedown, maybe. Because as you can see, the way I'm fine, I'm not putting tons of pressure on him. You know, sometimes when you have guys that are pressuring you, that's when it's, you've got to be careful throwing those kicks. You drop him again with that hook. And I'm thinking, like, let's try this takedown. I do a fake takedown into the body lock, and he's ready for it. You know, props to him. So I just let it go again. I'm like, all right, that's fine. If I was getting really overwhelmed in the stand-up or, you know, my legs or body were beat up, I would definitely have stayed there. And really committed to try to take him down. But I was, too, look, I mean, his head health is, was real bad from the first round. So, like, okay, I'll, I'll keep on the feet. Duck under that overhand. There we go. We got the hit stun there with that body kick. And that's the thing with Barboza, man. I, I know there's a, just one power rating, but I feel like his hands aren't as, aren't that strong. Even though his power's like a 95, and he catches me with a beautiful head kick there and rocks me. Good timing on that. Because in UFC 2, they used to have a... Uh, I think they used to have arm power and leg power, and they need to have that again. Maybe they do. It's just behind the scenes. We can't see the stats. I don't know, but it feels like Barboza's hands just aren't that powerful. Which, you know, they kind of shouldn't be. You know, he's not known. I mean, he's a brutal kicker, and he has great boxing. You know, he has good hands, but he's never been known as a humongous knockout puncher with his hands. It's with the kicks. Had to meet the mic there. I was yawning, guys. Early in the morning here, I'm tired. Need to have my coffee, but we rock him again here. Oh, and that hook drops him. And man, I was like, jump on him. I, I should have really went for the rear naked choke there, because I'm sure Ferguson had a submission from there. I got to start using those more sometimes. When you drop a guy critically, you know, some guys have submissions. You can do the arm bar or the... I think that's a there's a rear naked hook. And I'm sure Ferguson... Some fighters don't have them, though, but I'm sure Ferguson has all of them. We can get a look at the stats here. See, we already saw round one right there. Round two, two more wobbles, two knockdowns, 31 of 90, 14 six strikes landed. It's a good fight. All right, here we're facing Conor McGregor. Yeah, man, you got to be careful with these McGregor, with McGregor, man. He's so much to deal with, man. On the feet. Nice check by him there. And this man is letting the combo. Look at this. And that's how I know I'm rushing because I would have I would have just pulled back on that and rocked him, but I, I didn't do it for some reason. I did I did do a lunch back at least, and I'm like, wow, this guy's gonna be bringing it. Look at that. So I lunch back again. Yeah, because of my rust, I was a little I'm a little scared to lunch back. So I'm like, you know what? The pull, I mean, the, I'm not scared to I'm not scared to lunch back. I'm scared to use my head movement to pull back. So I'm like, let's just do the lunch back instead. And look at this guy using Connor, man, just coming forward right at us, ripping those three-hit combos. Connor, so, so I'm thinking, like, you know what? I got to start working this guy's body. 
when I get a chance, of course. There we go. Double jab, body kick. Man, I got myself get hit with an overhand uppercut combo. Nice job by him. And look at Connor's hand speed, man. So quick. Yeah, I have to get off that fence. I don't want to be the way this guy's playing. I do not want to get trapped on the fence like that. So I've already lost the first round. And of course, I get a finish. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. We're in this fight for the long haul. He is destroying my block, though. <clears throat> like, that'll come into play. This fight goes later. But his cardio is also going to come into play later if he doesn't be careful with this. Because he's throwing a lot of strikes and I am making him miss a, a fair amount here. And I'm starting to work that body. That body kick is going to come in handy for me in this fight. Another body kick. Yeah, and just a simple lunch back as he's throwing a three-four hit combo. It's nothing fancy. You know, if he would get wise to it, he, oh, we rock him there. He would just throw two hit combos, jab hook, then jab hook, then feint or something. We drop him there, can't finish him, and now we're on top. Let's see what we can do here. Man, I thought I had blocked that, but I guess not. Nope, we're not having any of that. And, like, let's go for the arm bar. Let's see if we can get this, guys. Five stages does. Not a four stage like for some other guys. I thought Ferguson had a four stage arm bar, but he doesn't. Still doable, though. Yeah, the mistake he's making, he's only attacking with two sides, and that's it. Yeah, you don't just want to attack with two gates. It depends what kind of submission it is and how it's going, but you use three gates or all four of them even. I usually use three. He made that one pretty easy for us there. Yeah, we got dropped. He was just, man, this guy was just extremely, extremely aggressive. You know, he, his, his stamina was going to come into play big time if this would have kept going. But then also my block was being beat up pretty bad, so it would have been interesting to see how it would have gone. But we got him. We rocked him, dropped him, got on top of him, subbed him. And here we see it again. And you see the stats? He only landed 17 strikes and 11 six strikes. So we outlanded him pretty pretty badly there. And he still managed to get a drop on us, but that's Connor's power. But on to the next. Ready? All right, here we're facing Anthony Pettis, who just knocked out Stephen Thompson, man. And then that was just insane. I went crazy when I saw that. I don't go crazy too much anymore for things, but that made me go crazy. Did not see that coming. Wonderboy was looking great, too. That's a good win for Pettis, though. Props to him. He needed that. But focusing up on this fight here. I'm kind of bringing the fight to him. Oh, and we drop him there. Goes for that cartwheel kick. He's already throwing the craziness. Yeah, Pettis' boxing cannot compete with Ferguson's. His box, he only has boxing. He can't even throw jab, uppercut, hook. He can just throw jab, uppercut. But that's where, where Pettis can compete out of those kicks. And for some reason, Anthony Pettis' um, leg strength is only an 81. I have no idea why it's that low. That's like Diaz brother level. They're 80. I don't recall his legs ever being hurt in fights. But maybe I'm, I don't remember correctly. To, but I find it weird that it's that low. Good body kick by him. Oh, we slip him there. Gets rocked. He's trying to spin. Uppercut, uppercut to change the animation, then hook, hook to drop him. He goes for that fly knee. We hit him with a straight. Oh, nice head kick by him. Man, I don't know why I let go of block there. I saw that coming and let go of block at the last second for some reason. There we go. We duck under that. Rock him. This guy's going too crazy here. He's still in it, though. Another cartwheel kick. We're not having it. Block that one. Oh, and he, there he goes. He finally got me with one of them. Gave, gave him the rock. Oh, he went. Look, I think he was going for a flying knee, and he ate a big counter uppercut. Yep, I knew he was gonna do that again. A couple body shots. He's killing his stamina this early on in the fight. His stamina is gonna be murdered if this goes past the first round. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't 
Tries it again. This time we sidestep it. Oh, left hook, straight right. And that's it. Yeah, he was just going too crazy. Made that easy for us. This was fun, though. This is going to be the last fight here. I had, I had a good time playing playing this. You know, it's been a while, like I said. It's been probably like eight or nine days since I last played. Um, I'm going to be going back to Sekiro. And, of course, Tokyo is on to do. I got to play that as well. But I'll be back with the UFC. It's not going anywhere. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. Till next time, stay cool, calm, and collected. Peace.